In this video, we are going to learn the process of solving a quadratic equation by factoring. So, this is a quadratic equation x square plus 8x plus 15 is equal to 0. And it is in the standard form like ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 where a is equal to 1. In this uh, all examples today we will be looking at only those quadratic equations where the value of a that is the leading coefficient is equal to 1. So here we see 1x square plus 8x plus 15 is equal to 0. And the first thing is we have to find factors in order to solve this uh, equation and uh, we have learned the process we have seen how to get the factors by using this method now we know that here these are the two numbers i have to get on the top and bottom on the left side i'm having the sum that is eight okay eight goes here the sum of the two numbers is 8 and uh, the product of the numbers is 15. That is, I am looking for two numbers whose sum whose sum is equal to 8 and the product is uh, 15. So, what are those two numbers? We can just uh, 15, you know that 3 divides 15, 5 times, and 3 plus 5 is 8. Yes, you already have. Now I'll write here 3 and 5. 3 plus 5 is 8. 3 times 5 is 15. Yes, we are good. So now this equation, x squared plus 8x plus 15, which was in the form, in the product form, now we will change it into factor form by making use of this 3 and 5. That is x plus 3 times x plus 5 is equal to 0. Alright, the product now it is factorized x times x, x squared, x times 5 is 5x plus 3x is 8x and 3 times 5 is 15. That's all. Now, we have two factors. Those two are the linear. x plus 3 is a linear factor and x plus 5 is a second linear factor and the product is equal to 0. So, now I can write x plus 3 is equal to 0 or x plus 5 equal to 0 by making use of the 0 product property. Right? because when you, on multiplication of these two the answer is zero hence each of them have to has to be zero or both of them need to be zero that's the property i'm using that x plus 3 equal to zero now solving for x that is done by subtracting 3 on both sides cancel out so you have x is equal to negative 3 in this case and here subtract 5 on both sides in the second case you have x equal to negative 5 so these are your two answers you can write solution solution equal to by default we write the smaller number first then the second one negative 5 and negative 3 are the two roots of this equation or the solutions or you can call zeros they are the zeros or the roots etc now how do you verify sometimes you'll be asked to verify if this is true if it is true or valid how do we do that verification Let us verify. We do the verification by substituting the value of x in the given equation. So, 
this is your answer i'll write x equal to negative 5 in this so negative 5 square plus 8 times negative 5 plus 15 and that must be equal to 0 let us verify you can say this is 25 negative 5 square is positive 25 positive 8 times negative 5 so that's minus 40 plus 15 so now these two are together positive numbers 25 plus 15 is 40 40 minus 40 is 0 0 is equal to 0 that's true or if you have any confusion let me substitute this and make use of this calculator okay um it's a negative 5 let me come here negative 5 then square I have plus 8 times negative 5 close plus 15 is equal to 0 that's true right why did this you can either directly simplify or you use calculator and verify that this 5 is the solution now similarly do for negative 3 same way I'll take negative 3 square for this x plus 8 times negative 3 plus 15 that is also equal to 0 it can be verified by one of this like 9 minus 24 plus 15 9 plus 15 is 24 24 minus 24 is 0 that's true so that's verified this is how you solve now let me take one more example here you have x square minus 7x is equal to 18 okay it is not in the standard form like ax square plus bx plus c so we have to first change it into this standard form how do you do that just take care of this 18 that is i'll subtract 18 on both sides so you are left with the x square minus 7x minus 18 is equal to this got cancelled it got 0 right so my quadratic equation here it is x square plus 7x minus 18 I'll look for the numbers two numbers I need here whose sum is negative 7 and the product is a negative 18 so let me factorize 18 is there 2 can divide 18 9 times yeah I already got my numbers 2 minus 9 is 2 minus 9 is negative 7 that's here right so I am looking for two numbers and those two numbers are this 2 and 9 and 2 minus 9 is negative 7 and 2 times negative 9 gives you negative 18 so both the conditions are satisfied I am having this negative 7 and also negative 18 using the two numbers 2 and negative 9 so what are my factors directly I can write off x plus 2 times x minus 9 is equal to 0 now using that uh, 0 product property x plus 2 equal to 0 and uh, x minus 9 equal to 0 I'll take away 2 here, subtract 2 on both sides to give x is equal to negative 2. And here, add 9 on both sides. We got x is equal to 9. 
So, what is your answer now? The solution. What is your solution? You can say right is equal to I write here negative two comma nine. These are the two x values which are the roots or the zeros of this given quadratic function, uh, quadratic equation because of equality. Now, let me substitute. If you substitute here, and it can be verified. I'll do it for 1. x square. This is the one I got. Okay. Let me take x is equal to how much? Negative 2 negative 2 square minus 7 times negative 2 should give us positive 18. Let us see. Negative 2 square is 4. 4 plus 14 is equal to 18. 4 plus 14 is nothing but 18. So 18 is equal to 18. That is true. The same way you can verify for 9. That's all. So the difference here is we have to just do one extra step from the previous problem directly you have it in the standard form but here you don't have you don't see the standard form so by taking away 18 you got a zero on the right hand side and uh, on the left hand side you have your regular ax square plus bx plus c equal to zero standard form and you apply the regular process now let us go to the third example in this case again you don't have that standard form so to get into that standard form of ax square plus bx plus c the equal to zero that is the standard form of a quadratic trinomial equation i will take away 5x on both sides both sides rather so x square minus 5x minus 24 is equal to 0 because of this cancellation and here there are unlike terms you cannot subtract 24 and 5 that's why write them separately x square minus 5x minus 24 equal to 0 now next thing i am looking for two numbers here whose sum is negative 5 and the product is negative 24 so what are the factors of 24 on adding giving us negative 5 i know 2 divides 12 2 and 12 that is 2 plus 12 is 14 and the subtraction gives us 10 it's of no use i'm looking for 5 so one more thing i'll do 2 can divide 12 6 times so in this case 2 times to 4 and 6 it won't work let me take 2 and 3 right now what i'm saying is this 2 times 2 times 2 that gives us 8 and 8 times 3 is 24 8 minus 3 is 5 okay so these are the two numbers those are the two factors in fact those are the two factors of 24 on adding should give us a negative 5 okay i'll write off 3 and 8 here now let us handle the sign whether it is a negative 3 or negative 8 one of them has to be negative because the product is negative and uh, i'm seeing that this uh, sum of those two numbers is a negative number hence the bigger factor has to be negative so negative 8 times 3 is negative 4 and add those two negative 8 plus 3 gives us negative 5 so every condition is satisfied hence the factors of this x square minus 5x minus 24 are x my x minus 8 i can write out okay x minus 8 times x plus 3 
these are the two factors now solve that is done by x minus 8 equal to 0 and then x plus 3 is equal to 0 what is the next step add 8 on both sides so one answer is 8 and the second answer is a 3 right take away 3 you got x equal to negative 3 those cancellations here this hence my ultimate answer is I can just write x equal to negative 3 negative 3 x is equal to negative 3 comma positive 8 substituting this 3 for x i will get a true statement even for 8 also you should get a true statement right now next example we have x square is equal to 144 still even though it is of this form directly taking square root will give you the answer as a plus 12 and minus 12 but you are looking for solving it by factoring hence let us try to write it in the standard form first by subtracting 144 on both sides now x square minus 144 is equal to 0 right our standard form is actually ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0. So here you have only two terms, the middle term, the b part is missing, the something is missing. So if you want, you can write it off this way x square plus 0x because the term x term is missing minus 144 equal to 0. Now look for two numbers whose product is negative 144 and the sum is a 0. What are the two numbers? You already know. 12 times 12 is 144. 112 you can make it negative. So negative 12 plus positive 12 gives you 0. And product is negative 144. So, what are your factors? x minus 12 times x plus 12 is equal to 0. Right? So, now x minus 12 equal to 0. Add 12 on both sides to give x is equal to 12. And in this case, x plus 12 equal to 0 let me erase it I have x plus 12 equal to 0 take away 12 to give you x is equal to negative 12 so what's your answer x can be negative 12 or positive 12. Verify, substitute here. Negative 12 on squaring gives you positive 144. Even positive 12 gives you that same thing, 144. That's true. So this is how you can factorize and solve for x. Let us look at another example. So we have x square equal to, is equal to 12x. It is not in the standard form, like ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0. So let us first try to simplify. I'll subtract 12x on both sides, minus 12x. Okay, so we have here x square, x square minus 12x is equal to, got cancelled, we have 0 x square minus 12x is equal to 0. Right. Now, still it is not in standard form and uh, we don't have to actually write it in the uh, like factor, sum and product. If at all, if 
this necessary we can i'll show you that process also but let us just look at easier way now here this is x square and that's 12 minus 12 times x in both terms i'm seeing x x square means x times x and the 12x is 12 times x so we take out this x as a common factor 1x will come out as a common factor leaving behind one more x and in the first term and in the second term you have 12 12 is remaining okay so you got x times x minus 12 is equal to 0 which is that tells me that this either this x equal to 0 or x minus 12 equal to 0. Now already you have one value for x. The second value by adding 12 on both sides we conclude that x is equal to 12. So your answer for this problem is x value is 0 comma 12. So that it can be verified by going back and substituting. Now I was telling about standard form. Let me show it to you here quickly. X square minus 12X. The constant term C is missing. So I'll write a zero here. Now I'm looking for two numbers whose sum is negative 12. Okay, sum goes here. Let me write whose sum is equal to negative 12 and the product is a 0. So when, when you are looking for a product 0, definitely one of the numbers has to be 0. And you are looking for a sum of negative 12. So 0 plus negative 12 gives you negative 12. Now what are the factors? Basing on this first number and second number, I'll write x plus 0 times x minus 12 is equal to 0, telling me that x plus 0 is equal to 0 or x minus 12 is equal to 0. x plus 0 is, makes no sense, that is x, 0 plus anything is 0. Hence my answer is x equal to 0. Add 12 on both sides. So you end up getting x equal to 12. That is the same thing. So you can do by any method. Okay. Now the next one. I think that's the last example we have. In this we have 4x square. Some a value is given to us. Right. In that from the standard form of quadratic equation ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 everything is given but we haven't yet practiced anything dealing with the a which is more than 1 so and uh, if I carefully study on looking at all the three terms I can see that this is 4 times x square 24 is 4 times 6 and 20 is 4 times 5 so it is telling me that yeah you can take out that 4 as a common factor out of all the three terms that is i have to look for any common factors that is out of those take out this greatest common factor if at all if it is available in this case so now I can see that 4 is the greatest common factor. I'll take it out. Now 4 times x squared. So I'll write x squared. From 24, 4 is gone. There is a minus and minus. Still 6 is remaining, right? From 24, 4 gone. 6 remains. And x also there. 6x plus from 20, take away 4. You are still left with 5. That gives you 0. Okay. Now, 4 times x square minus 6x plus 5 is equal to 0. Using that the 0 product property, we, one of the factors has to be 0. Of course, 4 cannot be equal to 0. But x square minus 6x 
plus 5 will definitely be equal to 0, right? If for what values of x, we are going to look for them now. I am having the sum here, sum negative 6, the product is 5. Give me two numbers whose product is 5 and the sum is negative 6. Here we are observing that the product is less than the sum. So definitely my two numbers for this 5, you know 1 times 5 is 5, right? Or 1 has to be a factor. 1 times 5 is 5 and 1 plus 5 is 6. But we are looking for negative 6. So I will just write down negative 5. I mean negative 1 and negative 5. Multiplication gives you positive 5. Negative 1 times negative 5 gives you positive 5. Adding those two, negative 1 plus negative 5, the sum is negative 6. Now, what are my factors? x minus 1 times x minus 5 is equal to 0. Okay. So, x minus 1 equal to 0 and x minus 5 is equal to 0. Add 1 on both sides. Cancelling off this one here. Leaving behind x is equal to 1. Similarly, add 5 on both sides. Cancel off. x is equal to 5. Your answer, the value for x is 1 or 5. Those are the two solutions for this quadratic equation. Right? So, this is how you can solve uh, problems in the quadratic equations by factorizing. We have seen different cases. Right? At first, it is a standard form. Then, it is not in standard, but we have changed it into standard form and then simplified. In the third case, it is again by subtracting 5x and then simplifying, finding the numbers and you got your factors, third case and all these things. So, after following all these examples, please try to complete the work that is given by your teacher and you will be able to answer any of these quadratic equations of the form of ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0 where this value of a is 1. Okay, please try, work it out. Thank you.